Good afternoon, people watching in 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and you will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you guide you the holy spirit is your best friend and the holy spirit will change you um this just came in off of news break now i don't know what russia's doing i have no idea what they're doing but they just uh deployed defense missile system on corel island near japan This is not good. So Russia's uh, defense ministry has said it has deployed mobile coastal defense missile system on a northern Corel island, part of a strategically located chain of islands that stretch between Japan and the Russian uh, peninsula the Kamchatka uh, Peninsula. Japan lays claim. Now listen to this. Japan lays claim to the Russian-held Southern Corel Island, which Tokyo calls the Northern Territories, a territorial road that dates to the end of World War I, or II, World War II, when Soviet troops seized them, took them away from Japan. But Japan still lays hold of this. I don't know what's going to come out of this one, but it, I, I'm sure nothing good is going to come out of this. The Russian uh, Bas Bastion systems, which have missiles uh, with a flight range of up to 310 miles, were deployed on the island of Paramushar, the uh, Russian Defense Ministry said yesterday. Uh, coastal servicemen of the Pacific Fleet will keep around the clock watch to control the adjacent water area and strait zones, it said. The ministry said that a military camp was set up on the uh, Paramushar, on Paramushar with facilities allowing for a year round service, accommodation, recreation, and food for personnel. So, <laughs> you think China has something to do with this? Because I do. Um, this is really strange. It says the deployment comes a year after Russia set up the uh, bastion systems on the island of um, Mottawa in the central part of the Corel Ridge, the ministry said in a statement. Japan's chief cabinet secretary told a Tuesday news conference that the government will closely monitor the Russian military activity, adding it has been intensifying in the Far East regions in uh, Tatum with Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Russia calls the invasion a special operation. The Washington-based think tank Center for Strategic and International Studies said in a September report that overshadowed by the invasion of Ukraine, Moscow's military 
uh, militarization of the Corel Islands has flown largely under the radar. Now, this is the first time I'm hearing of this. I haven't heard of this. They've been so focused on Ukraine. I haven't heard of this. It says Russia's steps to boost its presence suggest that the island will continue to play a uh, role in the future Russian Japanese relations and that Japan and the United States should deepen consultations regarding Russia's activities in the region, according to the report published on the center's website. Japan has joined its Western allies in applying economic sanctions on Russia after it sent tons of thousands of troops into Ukraine in what Moscow calls a special military operation. Ukraine and its allies say Russia launched an unprovoked war. So Russia withdrew from peace treaty talks with Japan and froze joint economic projects related to the disputed Corel Islands because of Japanese sanctions over Russia in Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Hmm. See, Russia is in is basically in bed with China. So China don't like Japan. China don't like the U.S. This is going to be interesting to see. Because like I said, I had no idea this was going on. None. So now this is coming out all of a sudden. This came out... When did this come out? Eight hours ago. Hmm. So, I'm going to keep track of that. Um, I got this too off of Blaze. About Soros. This man looks pathetic. It says here, Soros-backed group advises Biden administration that Clean Air Act could be used to control or prohibit gasoline. You know, they don't want you to fuel your car anymore. But yet they're conducting all these blackouts. So how would that work for an electric car? Governing for Impact, a group funded by Soros, recently issued a memo to lawmakers advising the dopey, creepy, sleepy, whatever you want to call him and his administration, that the Clean Act, the Clean Air Act, grants the Environmental Protection Agency the authority the authority to control or prohibit the manufacturing and the sale of gasoline. Fox News Digital reported this also. The Clean Air Act provides the Environmental Protection Agency with a number of tools to reduce air pollution, the memo read. One powerful provision is in Section 211C, which authorizes the EPA to control or prohibit the manufacturer and sale of any motor vehicle fuel or fuel additive if resulting emissions will endanger public health or welfare. This is really bad. The memo written by the GFI and the climate group Evergreen, uh, collaborative argued that the EPA could force gasoline stations, gas stations, to establish electric vehicle charging stations on their property. Um, 
Under the authority, more uh, stringent re uh, regulations on vehicle fuels, for example, requiring certain gas stations or national brands to install electric char uh, vehicle charging infrastructure, could both reduce deadly air pollution, such as nitrogen oxide and other stuff, and incentivize the use of zero emissions transportation, the memo added. GFI and the Evergreen company claim that the memo aims to empower advocates and policymakers to cut vehicle emissions. While the group's memo made a point to note that prohibiting gas is possible under the Clean Air Act, they recommend not issuing a complete ban. The memo stated they ought that the memo stated that outright banning fuel would likely result in the Supreme Court striking down the decision despite the clear text of the statute. So, in a presentation and internal memos governing the impact boasts that the current administration has implemented more than 20 of its regula uh, regulatory recommendations. The secretive group, the secretive group, which was founded in 2019, was exposed by Fox News Digital in April. According to the outlet, GFI is a project of the New Venture Fund, a nonprofit incubator that acts as a fiscal sponsor and provides tax status to other organizations. What a scam. According to Fox News Digital, GFI has been working behind the scenes with the Dopey administration to mold policies and regulations. Oh, really now? As a fiscal sponsor, New Venture Fund provides operational and administrative support to help advocates to, uh, to help uh, advocates and philanthropists quickly and if effectively launch new solutions to today's toughest challenges. New Venture Fund told Fox News in April, New Venture Fund explicitly does not engage in partisan activities or support any electoral campaigns, and we comply with all relevant disclosure laws and requirements. Oh, really? According to Soros, Open Society Foundation Grant Database, the Billionaires Foundation to promote open society has spent more than $5 million to the new venture fund for GFI. Remember I said, I think a couple of years ago, what Soros says goes. This man is powerful. Especially in the Democratic Party. So whatever he says goes. I'm going to link this in the description box and I'm going to link the other one in the description box. If something comes up, I will be on it. And I will be back on. I, there was nothing else on last night, so I didn't bother coming back. So, But today, I got quite a bit of news. So if you go over to my telegram, you're going to see some disturbing some disturbing things today. Christy Alley died. I don't know whether you knew it or not. The actress that played uh, in Cheers and other things. I hope she was saved. But uh, they're saying she died of cancer. A lot of celebrities are dropping dead. So, And we know. We know. But I'll leave it like that. I'll be back later. Thank you.